In this video, we will demonstrate how to run a model of a piping system and view results with the output and visual report windows. Click the green arrow in the main toolbar to run the model to calculate results. The solution progress window shows information about the solver's progress as it approaches a flow solution. Once the calculations are complete, results can be viewed in the graph results, visual report, or output windows. Let's start reviewing results of the output window. The output window is made up of three sections similar to the model data window. These sections can be resized, collapsed, or expanded accordingly. The general tab in the top section provides basic information such as the simulation execution time, number of iterations and tolerances, fluid properties, maximum and minimum pressures in the system, etc. Caution and warning messages are shown in the warnings tab if there are any. Home specific results can be viewed in the various junction summary tabs. For example, if you specified a k-factor for a valve and would like to know the resulting calculated CV value, check the valve summary tab. The scaling tool in the bottom right corner will adjust text size. Pipe results are displayed in the middle section, and generalized parameters that are common to all junction types are shown in the bottom section. One way to change units is by double-clicking on any of the column headers. Click and drag a column header to reorder parameters. In the Output Toolbar, the Output Control window allows you to customize the output. In the Pipe section on the Display Parameters tab, there are many parameters to choose to display in the Output window. Double-click Parameters to add them to the list on the right to be displayed. Select a parameter in the list and drag it up and down to reorder parameters. Click the arrow for the drop-down menu to change units. The Parameters in the Junctions section in the Display Parameters tab allows you to display generalized parameters that are common to all junctions in the Junctions section at the bottom of the Output window. The component-specific buttons in the Display Parameters tab allows you to customize the parameters you want to see in the Summary tabs in the top general section of the Output window. These are parameters that relate to only these types of components. For example, the open percentage of a valve has nothing to do with a pump or heat exchanger. Therefore, that type of parameter can only be found in the Valve section. There are many other helpful customization opportunities available in the other tabs of the output control window. Be sure to check out those other options. To create your own output template with specific parameters and units, set up the output control window as desired, then click Save Control Format. Give the file a name, the extension DAT will be added after the file name. To use that format for any model file, click Load Control Format, browse and select the appropriate control format file, and click Open. This can help maintain consistency for reporting if multiple users are involved. The visual report allows you to display input and output parameters on top of the model itself. The first time you go to the Visual Report window, the Visual Report Control window opens automatically. This is where you specify the parameters you'd like to display. The default display mode after running a model is the output mode. Many input parameters are also available in the list of output parameters. 
visual report is automatically filtered to only show parameters and units that are set up in the ALPA control. To see all parameters, click the All Available Parameters button. Let's select some parameters to display. Font sizes can be changed on the General Display tab. Let's color code the pipes based upon their pressure drop with the color map. Click Show to display the parameters and color map on the model. To help declutter the display, units can be displayed in the legend. The legend and parameters can be moved around easily. As you can see, this is an excellent way to present your results. This completes the Quick Start video tutorial series on running a model and viewing results with the output and visual report windows. Thanks for watching and feel free to refer to the other topics in our AFT Fathom Quick Start video tutorial series.